Hello, I am Devin Cantillion, and this is Jan Kazi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a Jamboard and share it with your students. Jamboard is a digital tool that teachers and students can use to collaborate in any subject. Here's how to get started. So let's get started. When you want to create a Jamboard, you just go to the waffle and you look for the Jamboard app. Once there, if you have any Jamboards already created, you will find them here. But if you want to create a new Jamboard and you haven't done so, you're going to go to the little plus sign at the bottom to create a new Jamboard. And when you do, one opens up. It'll say Untitled Jam. I'm going to title my Jam Test. And so let's quickly go over the tools. So you have a pen, you have marker, highlighter, brush, and just a couple of colors. You have the eraser tool, you have the select tool, you have sticky note tool where you can add a sticky note. You can add an image either from your computer, your by URL, your Google Drive, from a variety of places. And then you have text box where you can just put in a little text. And it's very similar to sticky note. It just doesn't have the background. So when I click on it and notice the three little dots, I can either edit what I wrote, I can duplicate it, or I can delete it. Up top, you have background and you have line paper, you have graph paper, you have dots, um, or you can even upload a, from a background. You can upload a picture as a background. So what I'm going to do is I used this for my reading intervention group. They did not have their uh, worksheet over our two weeks distance learning. And so we used this to help them. Um, so what I did was um, I uploaded the worksheet as the background so that way they couldn't move it or change it. And then um, until I gave them editing access. And then I added a sticky note and I put the child's name who I wanted to work on it. And then I just added another slide so you can click the arrow over one and you can create another slide. So I'm just gonna do that now, I'm add another slide. And then I'm gonna add another student's name who I'd like to work on this slide. And this is just one way. You can assign slides or frames for different students. And now if you have a class of 20, I don't recommend doing one slide per child because that gets to be quite a lot. But if you have a small group, um, five to six, um, this works great if, to assign a, a slide per child. Um, you can come here and expand the frames. And as they're working on it, you can see up to five students working um, without having to scroll over. Um, so you can see what they're doing all at once by expanding the frame. Um, so with that, I now have it ready for my students. So what I want to do now is I want to share it with my students. So I'm going to go to the share button and down here where it says get link, I want anyone with the link to have access to it because if students are on their parents' computers or they're on their parents' iPads, um, I want them to be able to access it. And I'm going to make sure I change this to editor so they can edit or change um, on the Jamboard. I'm going to copy my link and I'm going to click done. And all I did was in the Google Meet, I inserted the link, they clicked on it, and they were able to work on the slide assigned to them.
So again, that's how you can create a Jamboard and share it with your students so they can collaborate in any subject. Don't forget to check out other Dear This videos.